Happiness is a choice. This incredibly simple exercise will shock you as you realize you can learn exactly where you choose to be unhappy and how that knowledge can help you raise the level of your game in a split second. Hey there everybody, my name is Peter Rennert and I want to welcome you to my new series, Inside Telos Tennis, where each Friday I'm going to give you a sneak peek inside the curriculum from my online course, Playing Telos Tennis. The next awareness tool I want to introduce you to, I call, Where Do You Draw the Line? Going to start with a pinpoint target. That's where I want the ball. That's my absolute target. That's what makes me happy. As you know, hitting that ball somehow makes me happy. But how close to this target do I have to be to be satisfied? That internal feeling of like, yes, I hit my target. If the only thing that makes me happy is hitting this target, I am going to choose to be unhappy most of my life because hitting this target is not so easy. In a way, it's kind of like if a baseball batter had to get a hit every time they got up, they'd be pretty unhappy. The best hitter in the world doesn't get a hit four times out of 10. Keep that in mind as we do this. Okay. so. The next thing I do is then create a target outside of that, like a target area. This one, you know, obviously is extreme pleasure, but there's an area of satisfaction. So I'm going to start off just trying to identify what I know mine is approximately. And as you know, perception is super important. the deep corner ball. If I get the ball this far from the target, there's a target. If I landed here, would I be satisfied as I say that? It's like, no, I got to be a little closer. Okay. I'm definitely happy here. I'm definitely happy here. I'm definitely happy here. Yeah, I'm de uh, you hear me starting to waver? That's what's inside me. That's my truth. You must know your truth. You can't pretend. You get nowhere if you pretend. Okay, so right around here, I'm beginning to not be sure if I'm happy anymore. How weird is that? I'm happy here. I'm not happy here. Happiness is a choice. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to move it in a little more because that's where I felt... better. You're going to do this exercise yourself. The next time you get on a court, figure out what are you satisfied with? Okay. That feels way, way, way better. Although I, I'm leaving myself a little more room on the tail because that's a more penetrating shot. I'm like, okay with that. Whereas I don't want to leave the ball short, which is why I'm leaving less distance on this side. Okay, that's my deep corner ball target. I'm happy with it. Now, I have to go look at it from the other side of the court because it may look very different. Remember, we did observation without judgment. Remember how different things looked from far away? I'll bring a couple of balls with me. Okay, 
Now, when I look at that, I'm okay with left and right. It looks like I have no distance on the long, which the truth be told on my deep corner ball, I can just let the long go. The baseline can be my long, but the one in front, I feel like that's gonna be really hard to hit. I'd like a little more room on that target. So what I would do is go back on the other side and adjust the target until what I see on that side and what I see on this side aligns with each other. And I feel like, yep, that's my deep corner target. And as you know, a lot of times we're in programs or we're out there working on accuracy and we try to find what we want our target to be. And, and someone else sets the target. Most important thing would be watch the pros. See where I put the red cone? Kind of arbitrary. Where do you want to put the red cone with the dot? Your absolute pinnacle of success. You want to be specific. Watch the pros. Look where they hit the ball when they got it. And then you go out and set your own target. Don't rely on some other authority or expert or someone who tells you this is where the ball needs to be. Watch the pros. Make your own target. And then you draw your line. Okay? I'm not going to go back and fix that right now. Instead, I'm going to go for the target and see how it feels. Mmm. 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 I've done this a lot, so I kind of know what my target is. I was surprised that I want to move that front thing forward. I'm going to go back and do that, and then I'm done. You know, the other thing you'll notice is I made it bigger here and I made it bigger here because over here is okay. That puts more pressure on the other person and over here is okay. I don't want to be too close to the middle and I don't want to be too short. But still having said that, I want to give myself a little more room on that. I want to give myself a little more room on this. I actually don't even need these. I can put that one over there and I don't even need these. That's my target. That feels great. And truth is I want to move that ball just a little bit this way, but watch the pros. This is arbitrary. It's based on a feeling. I want to see what the best players in the world do. And then I want to set my own target. Okay. Awareness tool. Where do you draw the line? That's where I draw the line. So I really do hope that this video helps you realize there is a much more efficient and enjoyable way to get better. And if you want to learn more Telos exercises, just check out my online video courses for players or for coaches at telostennis.com. And of course, remember to hit the like button, ring the notification bell, and subscribe. All right, that's it for now. Take Telos out on the court and enjoy the adventure.